Hello, today we're at Oishi Express in Madeira. We'll get to uh, what we ate a little in a little bit. But let's talk about let's talk about Madeira. We talked about Sanger last week. Let's talk about Madeira today. Let's do that. What do you like about Madeira? Well, one, it's right off the 99. 99 goes right smack through the middle of it. It does. So it's located in a great spot should you need to go one way or, or the, the other, other or right? both. Or both. Um, so that's my first. That's my most important because uh, I just like the location of it. Um, do you only what? A couple hours from Sacramento and about two hours from Sacramento. You're, you know, if you need to get to, you know, Chowchilla or Turlock or Merced, you're less than an hour. Less than an hour. North. Bay Area is not that far. A couple hours of the Bay Area, so San Francisco. So yeah. I mean, you, you, it's it's a great it's a great place. Plus, it's just easy and convenient being on the 99. Yeah. Um, it seems like it's a little little more affordable than Fresno. It is. It, it always has been. I mean, you've lived here longer than I have, but it always seems like it's, you know, a little more affordable. And what about, like, all the different diversity in the properties here? Yeah, it's, it's really interesting. You can, you know, I'll call it the kind of the downtown. It's not really downtown, but kind of old town Madeira. Yeah, You'll yeah. find some traditional homes on five to 6,000 square foot lots. Um, you've got the new stuff out at Riverstone, which mm -hmm. is brand new on yep. the other side of Madeira. Yep. You've got Madeira Ranchos, which is the half acre to two acre lots. Yeah, so you have a little more privacy with an acreage around Correct. you. Correct. So. And then you have some of the big estate type things with, with acreage. So you have a, whatever you're looking for, it, it's all right here in Madeira. Yeah, there's a little bit of everything here. And you don't always find that in every single town. Um, I, th I think the planned development communities are really good. Riverstone that you talked about. What's the other one that's called out there? I always forget that name. Um, Trace something. Come on, you can do it. Tesoro can... Viejo. There we I go. See, to, I didn't I have even to get think it before I say yeah. it. Yeah, but you know, those are all in Madeira. Those are planned communities and for, for growing families and stuff. Those are absolutely amazing, yeah. I think. So, yeah. yeah. So, what else do we got here? Um, well, I, I guess the thing that's kind of interesting to me is we're looking at kind of the stats and yeah. the, the, um, Average days on market, or I'm sorry, the I'm, yeah. I'm gonna have to do this in a minute and smack the back of his head to get it'll it come out. out. It'll come out. <laughs> the average days on market in Madeira, yeah. 77. Wow. Now the median, so the middle number is 44, but the average days on market is 77. But even at that, even even the other 40 some days, that's over a month now. Yeah. We're in, you know, a year or so ago, we would, well, was, two, was, two years ago. It was in less than a week. Oh, yeah, yeah. You're lucky if you'd stayed on 24 and you could go show it, right? The, so. the other thing I thought was pretty interesting is, of the homes that are on the market, active. Mm -hmm. So the, as all the homes come on, you get the ones that sell right away, right? Right. Of all the homes that are on the market, 39%, so almost four in 10, have taken a price reduction. Mm -hmm. Because they were priced too high to begin with. Correct. So I would say Correct. that, right? So, and that that's, that's what we try to tell our clients when we're listing properties is, if you price it right, you will sell it quickly, yeah. right? Like, but when you overprice it, it just stays on and on and on. So, and, and then you start chasing the market down, and you'll mm -hmm. end up losing thousands because once once the buyers know that you're overpriced, yeah, and you start reducing the price, and if you don't get multiple offers, most likely you won't get the price that you're at, even though it's probably worth it. You're not going to get it because the buyers are tired of paying. Over, over asking and being in, in bidding wars. And That's so right. if they see an opportunity, they, they, they hammer. Well, we've got one, we'll just, we won't say which one it is. And literally that house has been on the market since, I wanna say November 23rd of the year before. We've taken it off for a little bit, but we were working on almost a year because that house was overpriced by $75,000, okay? Now it's a more expensive home, but nonetheless, it just shows that nobody no. wanted that house at that price. No. So we are in escrow on it now, though, but we it's are. at the price it should be. So what else we got on here, John? Um, I think you teased this last week, but the median rent, oh. or so the average rent, if you will, $2,700 in Madeira. How do people afford to do that, right? I like, know. I mean, you might as well buy a home. Well, you, you can, and, and what's what's interesting is I, I just ran the numbers, mm -hmm. and if you're an FHA buyer with 3.5% down, um, taxes, insurance, mortgage insurance, you can buy a $365,000 home with that kind of payment. 
Did you hear what he said? Three hundred sixty-five thousand dollar home, and you're paying the same that you're going to pay someone else's mortgage. I mean, it's like. And the prices, the price won't go up. It's it, that's for thirty years. That's, that's um, right. Yeah, the rental market in just about everywhere in the Central Valley has been harder and more, it fluctuates more than than the home market. Yeah, yeah. So why not buy a house? We have a lot of different programs out there and ways that we can help you get into a home. We have great lenders we work with, great loan officers, and, you know, maybe you can't buy right now, but you can go sit down, plan with them, right? And not pay someone else's mortgage of twenty seven hundred a month. You'll it's be crazy. paying. Plus, you get the write off, the property tax write off, the interest write off. So there's a lot of little perks that come with there something is. owning your own home, right? So, so if you're in Madeira, come visit Oishi Express. It was so good, you guys. Uh, we'll put the we'll put the link in the um, in the description. You're gonna put a couple pictures in there too. I'll put a couple wait. pictures of. We had a couple different rolls. They were both delicious. We, I love sushi. It's probably my favorite food. If, if, if I had to eat one food, it would be that every day. Yeah, it was good. And it was fresh. The fish was fresh. I mean, it, the service was fast. Like, yeah. We didn't wait for anything. And it's like clean, really clean in here, too. Yeah. So it's just a small, and that's the one thing we like about towns like Madeira, too. I'm going to plug that, is we have a lot of mom and pop little places. I call them little hole-in-the-wall places. I'm going to tell you, that's where you get your best food, food. right? Yeah. So, so yeah. come, come uh, visit them, and we'll put the link in the description. Yeah. Yeah. And, and as always, if you'd like, share, subscribe, we'd appreciate it. All right. Thanks, guys. Bye.